All right, so what is the Rank Gauntlet? Well, the Rank Gauntlet is an Overwatch game show. We have 15 creators for this iteration of the Rank Gauntlet, five each night, and they are going to compete to get as many points as possible. How do they do that? Well, I'm going to give them a choice of lobby and then a select list of handicaps. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So as you can see, they're going to have a choice of many lobbies. Each lobby is worth an increasing number of multipliers. So as you can see there, times one, all the way up to times 2.2 at GM. And then they're going to select from a list of handicaps. So if we selected, let's say gold, then they will have these handicaps. These are the points values adjusted for gold. UI off, no sound, no comms, can't use their ultimate, got to invert their sensitivity. So they can select as many handicaps as they want. That'll be what their wager is. That's how many points they could possibly get. And if they win, they will accumulate all those points and then they go again. If they lose their run ends and they must start again. Well, who? can defeat Toniki score. Will it be our next contestant? Let's find out as I talk to my man, Custa. Hello, Custa. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm actually a little sick. Uh, so I oh, just no. want to get this out early. I'm a little sick and uh, I haven't played since I left for Australia. So, you know, I'm confident. Well, I believe in you. There's, there's something like, uh, there's a bit of a illness buff because SK has played in the rank gauntlet twice and every time she's been unwell and she still pops off. So maybe there's like a sickness buff. You know, like the Michael Jordan uh, famous yeah, yeah, unwell yeah. game. What I'm really doing here is fishing for points. Like, do you get a, do you, surely I get, can I get like one point for being sick? Is that a thing? That maybe. I can, like... if, if the one point would send you over the top, I might. I, I did some haggling right. with Arg. I did some haggling with Arg just now. I don't know if you watched his run. I, I did see the I did see the haggling, so I was like, oh, so I can I can I can you know bribe the judges a little bit, you know, sweet talk them down. All right, that's good to know. It's true. If you tell me I'm handsome, that's one point off the bat. But okay, well, you are very handsome. We all know. Nah, that. too that's late, too late, too late, too oh, late, too late. You have to you have to discover that bug yourself. You have to discover oh, the bug. Okay. Welcome to the rank gauntlet. First and foremost, where are you taking us? What rank are you taking us? Can you see the screen I've shared, by the way? Uh, yeah, I got, I got you up on my other screen. So, <clears throat> uh, I see there's a bunch of zero points. I think I want to take you to silver. I think we want to stay low, for sure, because we need to get a lot of points. Like, 525 points is just an absurd number of points. It is. So, I don't think UI off is a good one. I think I'm going to go with no comms. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go with swap hero after death mm -hmm. and can't use ultimate. Mm-hmm. Where does that put me? So that would be 150 points. Okay, and like that's including the rank thing. So if I went to one less player as well and I pulled that off twice, would I win? Yes, so the caveat being you, if you win in silver, you got to go a different rank. I think if you went bronze, that would be enough though. So this would be 294 currently, right? What you're looking at yeah. right now is 294. I think in bronze, it would probably be like 250 or something, which would be enough. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. All right, that's it. YOLO. Okay, I think your lobby's ready. I do allow you one form of communication with your team before the game starts. Is there anything you want to say to them? Because you've, got, you've selected no comms otherwise. I've showed no confidence in us, but I believe in us, and I want you to remember that. Fame is going to get thrown like a football. Giant Dragon is going to drag his nuts across the floor. Remy's going to go down. Wild Kato's bad, and Doug... Oh, I really like Doug Huggins' name, so they're okay. Fair. Doug Huggins, he can live. He's the chosen one. And Doug Hargum lives, yeah, yeah. Go back and tell them what you saw. Oh, also pocket me. Yeah. Also pocket him, okay. Well, there you go. Okay, well, let's go then. Go, 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 go. Again, the, the teams in silver and bronze are slow to come out of spawn, so they don't get hit by the spawn rollouts. Yo, he's just pumping damage into Steva. She's going to run out of DM in a second. The soldier trying to soldier gap, but he has to run away. He might go for the full flank, actually, and maybe Custa has recognized this. I think he's trying to focus down the Devo, which I think is actually quite smart because if you just focus down their tank, then that automatically like shuts down their sustain power. Oh, Bame. Thrown like a football. Thrown like a football to start us off the first pick. Oh, and he senses the soldier. He takes out the... Bro. Oh my god, he, was, he wasn't lying. He's just running it on soldier right now. I haven't even felt the absence of that one player. Oh, Bame with the... Wall climb rollouts aiming at that spot. Custer hits him with the helix. Oh the oh the immortality just about saves him, but then he almost jumps out of it. He hasn't been healed up yet. Oh my goodness, Bame is getting tossed like a football right now. The Bap jumps up against this. What is he trying? But the Diva has started to push the car and Custer recognizes this. 
rotates around. He should be able to just gun her down. Fairly straightforward, I think. But now is when the problems arise because the ultimates are going to come online. Every time we think with the player disadvantage... Oh my god, or you could just die. Yo, the soldier wants it. He wants the smoke. He gets the smoke. He gets the healing station. He gets the slap. You picked the wrong enemy. I, I wanted to let the soldier BM voice line play out. Yo, Bane gets a kill though. He just walks through the Sigma shield. Our Sigma shield is not super effective when you can just step past it. Tessa challenges the Hanzo. He wins. Or at least he survives, which is a victory of itself. He goes for the Helix. Kem said. Doing a good job on the Sigma now. But this is where it's problematic, right? We see a lot of the challengers do well for the first two minutes. In the 4v5, in the 3v5 even. But when the ultimates come online, remember, Custer can't even use his ultimate. Technically, he's got to swap his hero after death, he just hasn't died. So, it's a 3 ultimate versus 5 ultimate economy. In Ark's case, it was 2v5. And that can be really impactful. Here's the Kitsune rush, right? And he's just got a straight run. They counter Kitsune. He's gonna gun down there. Kiri oh my god, the damage, the spare boost damage! The red team just pumped three ultimates and they got nothing from it. Not a zilch, zero. But here's BAME! The football fights back. The football throws back. And oh wait, there's a res though. There's a res. I was going to say he's going to have to switch. But the benefit of the mercy pick. There's BAME again. Oh no. BAME. Oh, I thought he was going to go teabag or something. I was like, why is he dropping down? That would have been great. I would have given him a couple points for that, to be honest. Just to almost sabotage himself by dropping into enemy sight lines. Just to teabag BAME. Oh, the Kiriko's used her cooldowns there, but ours is panicking a little bit too. Oh, this is it, chat. There's a dragon and a attack visor coming soon, surely. There's the dragon. So Custer goes for the flank. The soldier on the flank. Soldier boy, will he tell him? He goes for the Mora. Forces are fade. Now the attack visor. Oh, our Sigma takes down the Kiriko. He's fighting World War III all by himself because the Mercy and the Kiriko are helping us. The card is C9ing. Oh no, we're almost losing our mercy. Custer's on an adventure. He's on a wild ride. 0 0.46 meters. He's got a touch. He sea lines. I told you guys. However well it might go. The ultimates. The ultimates will always give an advantage, right? Honestly, this makes me wish we had less ultimates. I mean, they only use like one set to be on to be fair. The one downside of 4v5 for the red team is they build ultimate slower. And that's in the, that was their first full rotation, I think. But it's almost kind of lame, isn't it? Like, the red team were, were just not better. Even 4v5, they just weren't better. And speaking of just better... I mean, that's not a really a fair fight, is it? Former Overwatch League Pro versus Silver player, one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, if Custer loses, there's just no, no good win for him there, is there? But yeah, the red team just, you know, weren't as good, but the ultimates are the great leveler of Overwatch. Kind of allow easy wins for very little input. Oh, Bane hits him with the body shot. Now the D.Va tries to follow up. She drops a D.Va bomb in the front of it all. Oh, there's the soldier flank. The D.Va bomb kills our Mercy. She had nowhere to go. Left, right, juke from the soldier. Oh my goodness, the damage from a Kitsune rush. Wait, he didn't switch. Did he die? Did he get out? I didn't pay attention actually. I was too busy hyping. Did he get out? Yeah, he got out. He got out. Never mind. I just thought he died on first point. But no, he just C9 first point. Amnesia. Oh, filthy limb on the soldier. The red team just don't notice. The diva literally... Does she know? She lacks the critical information. Now she's almost dead. She's dodging her own healing orb. Mora's forced to fade. There's the finish. Can anyone... Hello? Hello, D.Va? Why is the D.Va just straight up ignoring us? What is going on? I feel like their soldier's the only one who ever looks at us, but he keeps trying the one-on-one -on -one duel and... losing. Which is not the most surprising outcome. Can he get a win, son? No, you can't. Bruh. We've got a couple ults. I feel like our, our team should use them first. Because if they get the tempo advantage... Oh, there's a coalescence coming at us. No! Oh my god, that was so close. Bane wanted you. I think he must have had a Sonic on it because that was fully, fully just for Custa. Bane was like, I'm done playing the football, dude. The Steva, mm, her DM management a little sus. And now Custa can get the kills. 45 seconds of the card is still pushing. 
Kitsune rush from our side. Custa could step into it. And Sigma's pushing forwards. Here he goes. You know, he's valuing the high ground more than the Kitsune boost. Oh, almost takes the more out. 30 seconds. The Kitsu the Kiriko taken out. Five, you know, you gotta you gotta be honest. Uh-oh, Bane. On the challenge. He's not able to get the kill. The mercy pocket too strong. This is what Arg needed, the perma mercy pocket, but it's gone now! There's no mercy pocket for a little window of time. And the diva doesn't realize she doesn't go at Custa. Diva bomb. What is he doing? Oh, I thought he was just gonna AFK that. The C9ing. Kimura fades. Can Custa hunt her down? He's running for a little bit. He's gonna pull the jukes. Our Kiriko gets a kill. We get there, Kiriko. Or Rez even on our Sigma. Dude, this is ridiculous. The high noon. He, he right click peeks it. This is ridiculous. He only died once, chat. And now he got, re re got rezzed up. Yo, let's go. Only Yo, one death okay. and he got rezzed? Pig. Yeah, I, I, I panicked. I forgot that I could get rezzed. And so I thought it was over. I, I was so worried for that random Hanzo shot the entire game. Same. I was like, any of these could just connect because that's yeah. Hanzo. They ping the D.Va. The D.Va just trying to straight up 1v2 here. She should go for the Mercy. She starts to realize that. Oh no. Ah, uh, with the Kiriko flying in out of nowhere. But there Kiriko flying in out of nowhere. This is the most epic but boring duel at the same time. Because none of them have died. They've just been spamming damage at each other. There we go. There's the Elim. There's the right click on the Kiriko too. Very nice. This is going to be a pretty quick first point breakdown. Oh ho ho ho! Dude, Custer's off the sauce with this tracking, dude. This is He's making this look easy. Going for the little cheeky flank. Again, I'm sure he would like to visor. I'm sure he would like to visor, but does he need it? Wait, can he kill that more? I think she went behind. Yeah, there she is. Well, he goes for the torp first. There's Bane. He's done being a football. Nobody cares. Why wh the diva fights him when he's not, when he's getting pocketed, and doesn't fight him when he's on his own. There, bro, you're on 10 HP though. Still, she almost won that duel, even with that. Oh, pause, 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 pause. Can we pause, Kuma? Okay, we're gonna get the high ground again. Oh, we lost our mercy. This is the weakness, the Achilles heel of the pocket pocket strat. Oh no, the castle. Look, see, now this, now all the damage is suddenly, you know, a lot more deadly, really. And now that Cassidy's back, it's a bit of a problem now, isn't it? It wasn't AFK anymore. And again, the alt advantage, kind of telling. I mean, we, it took a while for us to lose our Sigma, but we eventually lost our Sigma. The Molten Core was a bit unnecessary. More like a zoning core. Victory core. And his D.Va getting a bit carried away. This soldier pocket dude is crazy. Oh, Custa stepping in the lava. Stepping in the coom. Oh, I don't know about this. What is happening? It feels like this D.Va and Custa have been fighting since the, like, mid medieval ages. And none of them, this neither of them ever die, dude. It's like unkillable tank versus pocketed soldier. Who will lose? Neither. Oh, that, that high ground is really good from the Cassidy, though. Like, this is going to be a problem. Because you can see how hard it is for, for Custer to shoot up at him, right? Now the D.Va goes. The Mercy left us momentarily, but she's back. She back. She got our back. The D.Va, Perma DM, the Suzu too late from the red side. But we lose our Mercy again, and that's always been a problem. Going our Sigma goes and gets a pick. How is our Sigma even alive, dude? He's literally 1v4 or something up there. Now our Kiriko teleports over, and she gets a kill. The silver's cracked, dude. They've unlocked it for us. We didn't have to do anything. Here comes the Mercy to back us up. Kiriko flies in as well. We should be able to finish the Baby Diva. She's 99, dude. Oh, that is so unlucky for her. If she'd hit one more little pellet, she'd have gotten remaked. This might be easy, easy clap now, because they don't have anyone to really contest, but we only have one person on card, so it might be a bit slow. Oh my god, dude. That's filthy. That's filthy. The D.Va is back. She could touch, but she needs to not burn her resources before it's time to touch, and it's exactly what she's doing. In fact, she's just gonna straight up give it up, which 
Even at that point, it was a 4v4, so I feel like they should have gone for it, especially with Kitsune Rush. Uh-oh. High ground. is over. It's over, Anakin. He has the high ground and the mercy pot. Again, though. The weakness. They pick the mercy off. He's going to run. Now the Kiriko arrives, though, but he leaves her. He's like, see a piece. I'm off. He leaves his Kiriko for dead. The Mura finishes off both supports. High Noon takes out the Sig. Okay. Okay. Maybe not so easy, chat. Pumping damage into Steva. He would get so many tack visors, dude. If he could. Again, the Diva's back, but our Mercy's here too. And once more, the duel resumes. This time, the Diva's getting farmed. Our Sigma goes and takes out Bame again. This is turning personal between the two of them. Oh, he's not able to deny the remac. Oh, be careful, Costa. Be careful. Now the Diva comes flying in. This might be a bit trickier. Our Sigma's cracked, dude. He's getting killed, but the Coal Essence. Now the Kiriko comes flying in. It is all out war. One Mora and one Diva, but we take out the Mora, and now the Mercy's got our back. Now the Diva has to turn tail and run. She's getting just damage pumped into her. I don't know why she doesn't boost her away. She's still alive, though. The Kiriko Swift steps away. The stick from the Cassidy! Is there a res? There is. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where did he even come from, dude? I think he's from the far right high ground. Oh no! That Torb just got deleted, but the stick again! The Cassidy! Is he going to teabag? Teabag, son. No, chat. Oh no! There's no way they lose this, right? There's no way they. Oh no! Chat, it's all falling apart. They switched off Mercy. There's no more Mercy Pocket. Oh, dude, he won't even get a shred of healing now. He's barely getting healed now. He, but why is he really on the Torb turret, bro? Oh, no, he doesn't finish the cast. Our Diva's gone. Oh, dude, he's getting pushed. He's gonna die. He gets the Railgun, but his Babs is straight up not healing him. Press X, press X. Oh, dude, this is so tense. He could still turn it, but his Diva's gone. The stick, 15 HP. He comes down again. The Arch Nemesis, the Cassidy, arrives. Another Disruptor shot, but the Cassidy's hard tunneling on him. He has overclock, but he can't use it. It's overtime. Torb hammering his turret, healing it through everything. Fame is just up there, and he gets the kill. There's no way, chat. There is no way. The double Goomba stomp. There is no fucking shot. The Torb just hammering his turret to victory. Doing it for Toniki. Doing it for Boger. <laughs> Doing it for SkiSD and Deku. No shot. Rafter. No way. No. Oh, dude. How? That Cassidy went crazy. On he that went hard fight. on you, dude. Oh, God. Oh, no. If I could have ripped the overclock, I would have killed five. Guaranteed. You know, there's no way I would have missed anything. Well, so. there's one way to find out, which is that you got to run it again. So first and foremost, which rank are you taking us to? Let me screen share with you. Oh, you're already up. Okay, nice. All right. Um, mm. So it's almost impossible to win at this point, right? No, no, that's not true. Again, I was was gambling for everything with the 3v5. There's ways to do it. Either you go extreme with the handicaps or really high with the rank. You could go right. 3v5 like I did on bronze. No, no, no. Go... I'm going to go the opposite direction. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go. I want everything except for inverted sense and one less player. And then I will do all of that in GM and I'm going to play support and just hope that I can carry. I, well, I get carried. Okay. 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 I, I, I'm with this. I'm with you. Okay. Well, I'll send the ping out. If there's any people in your community who are GM who want to play as well, please do tell them to sign up. I don't know if you've given them the link. Uh, we ready? What map? Oh, yeah. sorry. What map again? Uh, Ilios. 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 Let's go. Good luck. Have fun. Anything? You can say one piece of it, you know, word to your teammates in voice chat if you want. Or team chat, sorry. Carry me to the promised land. To the promised land. For all the marbles, Custa. If you win, top of the gauntlet. When's the first cooldown that's going to whiff? It's going to come soon, I reckon. Oh no, his Ash is already down. Tries to put a bit of pressure on the Echo. He's a face full of stickies. Yep, there it is. There's the first cooldown. There's the uh, sleep dart that was meant to be a nade. I knew it would happen. Oh, he's trying to put a good amount of pressure on that Kiri on this Echo rather, but here comes Boger. Boger with the rematch. Remember Boger 
has trained now. Earlier on in the Ilios rematch with Climactic, he got hooked into the well a couple times and he wasn't too happy, but now he's learned the ways of Orisa in the new hog world that we've entered. He's learned how to handle the Orisa gaming. I think that was meant to be a nade. Just didn't connect. Oh, this echo. Oh. Ah, you got to swap. The Sojourn Mercy Pocket could be very, very strong. Piggy gets a pick to start us off on the Kiriko. We're gonna head over there. Oh, great glide to get over to our Sojourn who needs the help. Remember, he doesn't necessarily know how low or high people are. There's the kill from our Sojourn. He's just gonna have to go off intuition, really. Oh, big, big kills. There we go. Boger just desperately spinning on point for his, for his life. Stalls out a couple extra percent. But hey, 76% is a lot. You take that for your first push as the red teeth. The echo again on the right side. Again, he can't hear her. He doesn't know. If he doesn't see it on his screen, he doesn't respond to it. And he can barely see it on the screen anyways because he got the UI off. But some nice guardian angel antics. Uh-oh, the diva bomb goes flying out. Oh, the remake Goomba stomp upon there. Kiriko is really big. Their echo goes all in on our sojourn and doesn't succeed. And Boger's now all in on us. Supercharger, or the, not the supercharger, whatever it's called. The Amore from Boger gets nothing. Is juked out fairly easily, actually. And in the meantime, their diva, or our diva, hunts there. Kiriko, the great jukes from Kasta. He's trying. Trying his heart out, but the echo beam will be the death of him. He's going to run it with his diva. Trying to enable her so that she can dive someone. He's playing quite far back, quite safe. Might try and protect his sojourn here by the looks of it. Their tank is in. Boger's holding it down. Overtime triggers. They just about get it back. Probably calming their hearts out in the voice chat, but not here. We don't know. Big kills. Two big kills. Custom looking for the mercy. Oh, no! Whew. Almost gets spun off by Boger. But Custom gets the finish. Nice. Okay. We get the flip. Maybe they'll take the tempo, but now they have nothing, to be honest. And the last fight is going to take place regardless. Here comes Boger announcing his entrance with the gong of the javelin. Shing! As it flies off across the map. There's the dupe. It's on the sojourn, I think. No, it's on the tracer. Oh, the C9 flip? What? Bruh. Yeah, this I, this flip mechanic is so dumb. That's so stupid. I, oh, no. Bro, that. Blizzard, please. Bro, bro. I ha we had that. We were in a bro, good spot. Bro, that is absolute robbery. There's... I, I think we need a remake. All right, it's fine, it's fine. Anyways, we got to untilt. Oh no, our tank. Boger gets revenge! Immediately pummels her into a corner. Spears and the team follows up. But our Sojourn gets a pick. It is rezzed up though. Okay. We're about to get the first flip, but there's a Farah up our behind. And sends us back to spawn. And Custa must once more switch. Maybe he can go back and try and contest this Farah. I don't know. Damn, Boger. Oh, and they take out the Hanzo to start. And Custa putting good pressure on the fire, but she doesn't go down. There's the barrage. Remember, there's a slab bug where she comes a little bit early. Oh my goodness! Jesus Christ. Bogus impales Custa against the wall. Might be over. This Cassidy starts off getting speared. Bogus spinning at that diva. Uh oh, there's Anzo storm arrowing him, and they've already taken out our Kiriko. Custa is the only healer left. They pop Kitsune Rush. Our team is falling left, right, center. Kusta's playing his heart out. Trying to dink that Hanzo. He probably has no idea that it's 90%. And his rank gauntlet. Oh, I just he's about to kill the Hanzo. The Orisa intervenes. Boger. Even a GG already. They've given up. They think it's all over. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Oh, dude. That was brutal. Damn it. That was fucking brutal, dude. That 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 that, that, was, that was a lot harder. When they went Farah Mercy, that's a problem because like I you, I can't hear them, I can't see them, and they're just running me down. It was that was brutal. I think yeah, if we had them in the first half, ruins. It was gonna be our map. So I'm gonna I'm gonna vote in Blizzard for this one. Uh, I tried to pay them off and it didn't work. Yeah, curses to Blizzard Entertainment, sabotaging Custer Run, Boger's PayPal coming in strong. <laughs> so I had I mean zero points. I'm afraid so, I'm afraid so. Two, uh, which is, doesn't do justice to your run because two games that were very close. Two games where yeah. I felt like you almost had them. <sighs> but what can you do? Sometimes the cards don't fall your way. Yeah, sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them. So that's my first one. So, you know, just getting my footing, understanding oh, yeah, yeah. the risks and rewards. So, yeah, next time I'll get them. 
True, I mean, exactly. Bogers played like three get rank gauntlets and he's played in other people's runs. So yeah, unfair, unfair, unfair. But next time, now that you're warmed up, you get him. You get him good. Yeah, I, I do want to give a shout out to you for uh, organizing this. You are so very handsome and talented and uh, just a beautiful human being. Um, does that get me one point at all? So I'm not zero with everyone else? Yeah, I'll give you one point. There you go. Take that, unsalted salt, needle for you and arg. Easy, easiest, easy. Easiest win of my life. Not at the bottom. Love to see it. Love to see it. Easy win. There you go. Even when he's not winning, he's winning. All right, nice. Custom. Well, it has been a blast, dude. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Big shout out to everyone in your community who's uh, who's playing, you know, filling out the spots. Uh, big shout out to my Sigma and the first game who who tried to carry me, uh, but it wasn't enough. Uh, yeah, no, GG's. That was fun, man. Thank you so much for playing, man. I hope to see you soon. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And a fellow November baby, let's go. Hell yeah, baby. Rise up. Rise up. As we age, we only grow stronger. I hope you <laughs> I hope you get the dubs next time, man. Yo, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to the next one. All right, peace, dude. Peace.